on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Kasky, you're finally awake. <clears throat> what? What happened? You lost. <clears throat> Dad. Yes, Kasky. I uh, lost. That's what happened. I can't. You're too cocky. I thought I pretty much trained that out of you. But it seems like you need another lesson. As yes, Izuku leaves being stoic and. Yeah, Kazuki feels hurt. Don't take it the wrong way. What? He's disappointed. He's wrong. He's worried. What? Why would he be worried? <sighs> okay. He wanted this destroyed, but... As then, there is security footage of the USJ plane, and it's pretty much right around the time where Koski just jumped in, says, Dad, I got this. Izuku, are you sure about this, son? Yeah. Of course, come on. This is me. I'm your son. He's like that means nothing if you can't back it up. <clears throat> is at the beginning. Koski's doing good. He's injuring the Nomu. It's just healing a lot faster than he can hurt it until it starts attacking him. And this is why he's a goo. So. You lost. It completely bodies. Kotsky. And yes, Izuku, you can see he's angry. He feels like someone has taken something away from him. It's not a good look at all. To the point... Nine and his lackeys see this and I know how you must feel. Your son didn't live up to your expectations. But don't worry. He can always place him. <sighs> yeah. That's what you think, yes, yeah. Now, I, uh, I need some clarity here. You said the strongest thrive of your little utopia, right? Yes. In that case... Bow to your king. As Izuku just destroys Nomu's brain, and with the most malice you could ever expect from anybody, goes for Nine and his friends, and it is borderline criminal. As until what the hell are you doing here? Come on, Dad. 
Jack. Baki. I assume that also means... Tenko. Uh, hey. What are you doing here? You can't expect us to just sit around while you just issue out challenges like that, can you? Take your brother to the infirmary. I must say, you getting reincarnated, Dad, is the best thing that ever happened to the world. Yeah, according to who? <laughs> Whatever. As yes, that's pretty much how it ends. The recording is over, and Goski is like he he lost his mind because because you were hurt. Yeah. <sighs> Nezu and Izuku don't know I know this, but there's a reason why he tries so hard, or he acts like he's the strongest he in the world. It's not only because he is through his trials, his training and whatnot, it's made for his family. What? When he announced that he was going to be a hero, when he announced that who his wives were, who his kids were, that wasn't him just trying to let know that he has a family. That was to let everyone know that he is so confident in his strength. He has so much faith in himself. Or he's so deadly dangerous. That anyone who would dare even think about going after you guys runs the risk of getting killed without mercy. He, he isn't like that. He's harsh on you because he hates you or is disappointed or anything. He's like that because he, he honestly cares too much. He knows he can't live forever. If he could, he most likely would. And possibly just be a regular dad. But he trains and is way more hard on himself than you really think. He has to be the strongest. If not, if people see him even lose once, or see him struggling, that could be disastrous. He puts himself through the ringer just to make sure he knows that you are safe while he's here he puts you through the ringer so he can ensure that you can take care of yourself long after he's gone oh wow I I didn't I never oh trust me he would probably kill me if he found out that I told you any of this, but <laughs> so what now? Now that you told me, I, I can't just unhear everything. I just thought maybe it would be it would make you feel better to know that how much your father actually does care about you. Thanks, recovery girl. No problem. 
Oh, all right. Let's see about this. I'm just going to come out and say we have a traitor amongst us. Uh, well, I can't deny I was thinking the same thing. Mike. Chances are the traitor's in this room, too. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps not. Sure, it could be a student. Question is, who? Well, our kids are pretty much, you know, out the window. Right, Angie? <clears throat> right, but still, then who, if it's a student? Start doing background checks on all of them. See if anything seems too out of the ordinary or something seems too tragic or too perfect. What's that supposed to mean? Think of it like this. If you had the perfect, like, life, like no hardships whatsoever, Everything was handed to you. Wait a minute. Are you trying to suggest Momo? Oh, please, no. She wouldn't be that stupid. So I make sure none of my kids have a perfect life. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's think. What about... An invisible girl. Or that belly button laser boy. Who knows? Uh, wait, what? Yes, think about it. His quirk doesn't really agree with him all too well. Does it? Well, whose quirk, who, whose quirk really does? I've done my research. If he's had for as long as he should have, like, born with a quirk. Why are there so many drawbacks? Or at least, why is his stomach ache interfering so heavily? Uh, yes. Despite what you've may want to believe kids will use their quirks huh. depending on what they want to do with their lives they will and I do mean will end up trying to improve on it makes them mean that much more valuable as heroes especially when coming to this school you really think about it and that invisible girl. Something's different with her quirk. I can't really. It's not visibility. What? Think of it like this. What causes things from to be uh, invisible? What can allow you to be unseen despite being right in front of someone's face? Uh, the light bouncing? Yeah. If anything, she could be bending the light around herself to the point where she is invisible. But considering that she is always like that, you see here she's been doing this for a long time or someone possibly gave her another quirk wait but Midoriya that that would be impossible the only one who could give the, unless exactly 
Unless it's you know who again. Hmm. Let's see, I'm not an idiot. In fact, I'm far from it. But even I can hmm, appreciate another genius. Hmm. Someone who's always invisible. All she has to do is take off her clothes. Because we don't have any infrared sensors, don't do we? Uh, no, I, I would assume not. Mm, exactly. As for cameras, that light from that Billy Button laser, mm, a little flashy, isn't it? And the way he's looking out to the distance. What about it? Well, I don't think he's just really doing it to be like quirky, you could say. Chances are you may be doing it to either let someone know what's going on or You really have to consider the fact that I am a, he's flamboyant, he's always trying to be a center of attention, letting you know that he's here until he doesn't want to be noticed. Think of it like that. Now why would he do that if not for a specific reason? And just like what I said about this invisible girl, she could bend the light around other objects to make them either flashy as possible. Hmm. What's to stop her from doing the same to other people, granting them invisibility as well? What? If anything, she could possibly bend the light, and if her and Ayama are traitors, then, then what? Their quirks work very well together. If she actually is able to bend light, that is, because that can prove very difficult to guard against. First, she could easily make someone invisible, Ayama per se, and if he uses his belly button laser, she can bend the light to a point where it doesn't matter where we dodge, it will hit us. But there is something they didn't count on. What? Me and my kids. Yet to think, I am not scared of a fight. So she's probably. Wait. Actually, her being invisible makes this even more difficult. How? Think of it like this, if I don't know what she looks like. If no one knows what she looks like. That means you never know who did what unless you have photographic or video evidence. Someone who doesn't show up. Someone who's effectively invisible. That could prove very difficult, couldn't it? Uh, uh, now you realize what I'm talking about. So they could be the. Sh I might be wrong, but it is a possibility. <laughs>